Hey guys, Chris here for Tool One's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will explain the basics of guitar wiring. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without using too many special tools. If you have to fix some wiring issues or even rewire a whole guitar, you have to know what you need for the job and you have to understand the basics. Let's talk about all that in today's video. In case you enjoy guitar tech tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. First of all, you have to learn how to solder if you want to fix anything. If you need some help with that, we have an episode on the subject, you can check it out right here. There are three main connections in guitars, ground, hot, and battery wire if we're talking about an active instrument. You can use the same type of wire, but we tend to use different colors just to know what's what. A standard would be black for ground, white or any light color for hot, and a third, whichever color for the battery wire. There are different wire types, old school, unshielded single wire, you'll find these in Fender style instruments. There are also shielded wires, four conductor wires, etc. This is a braided wire and you'll find these mainly in Gibson guitars and basses. The core wire is hot and the braided shielding is ground. Four conductor wires are used as pickup wires, but you can also use them in Les Paul style electronics where you have three wires going to the switch, the two pickups and ground, and one wire coming from the switch straight to the jack, which gives you four in total. Let's talk about potentiometers. You will need 250k pots for single coils and in most cases 500k pots for humbuckers. If you have a guitar with one humbucker, two single coils, HSS guitar, you can, for the sake of simplicity, stick to 250k pots first. If it sounds too dark, you can still go up with the impedance. For active electronics, in most cases you will use low impedance 25k pots. Let's talk about capacitors. You will need them for the tone pots. You will need one capacitor per tone pot. Use a 47 nanofarad capacitor for single coil pickups and a 22 nanofarad capacitor for humbuckers. If you want to have a really subtle effect on an already warm sounding neck humbucker, you can also use a 15 nanofarad capacitor. Don't be surprised by the sheer variety of capacitors, they all differ in quality and in price. How does the signal flow in a guitar? On most Fender guitars and modern guitars, with one volume knob, the pickup wire goes straight to the switch, then to the volume pot. The tone knob is connected to the switch on a strat and to the volume pot on tallies. Then the signal goes from here to the jack. On many Gibson guitars and on similar instruments with two volume knobs, the pickup wire goes directly to the pots, then to the toggle switch, and from there directly to the jack. This info helped me a lot many years ago when I first tried to understand guitar wirings. Here's a list of tools you will need for wiring. Fitting wires, soldering iron and solder, obviously. Capacitor if you're replacing a tone pot. Cutter or wire stripping tool. Be careful when using a wire stripper with these sensitive and thin guitar wires. Tweezer. It can get really hot and there's not a lot of space in electronic cavities. Other electronic parts, pots, switches, jack, depending on what you need to replace. Helping hand. You often need more than just your two hands when soldering. Shrink tube. These help a lot to isolate wires. If a ground wire touches a hot wire or a log, your guitar signal will be muted or you'll have some nasty ground hum. And last but not least, a multimeter. If you want to find the issue with the wiring, it's useful to have a multimeter with continuity testing function. If you want to see how that works, check out our video on that subject. It's going to be linked in the description box. If you have everything you need for wiring, there's still one more thing, some practice. This sounds obvious and borderline cheesy, but first you should get comfortable with soldering. Grab an old pot you don't use anymore and practice soldering ground cables to the backside and a hot cable to the log. You can also search for your basses or guitars schematics online. Follow the wires from the pickups all the way to the jack a couple of times until it starts to make sense to you. It's so much nicer to work on electronics if you understand what's going on. And now let me take my Les Paul for a test ride. <laughs>
Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. I just cannot say tone pot, tone pot, tone pot, tone pot, per tone pot, per tone pot. Oh my baby, my good old baby.